Hi, Malik, and thank you so much for joining us. Would you tell us about your program and what you do in your program? Yes, of course. Thank you for having me. So the prison program is actually a program underneath the advice of Mental Health of America. It's a free mental wellness resource targeted towards LGBTQ youth, but it's not exclusively for LGBTQ youth. So we can deal with you and help you in support whether you're 14 or 41. Um, we're very much there to offer our shared experiences and not there to be necessarily therapy or psychiatry, more like a conversation to help you in support of your problems and issues. Thank you. And so tell me specifically what your role is in yeah. this program. Um, I'm a peer support specialist, which means I've gone through training to become a certified peer support specialist in Wisconsin. Um, peer support specialists, like I said before, are not like therapists or psychiatrists. We are someone who can offer you support through our shared experiences. You get to know us also about yourself more. So we kind of mesh off of each other and help each other through certain situations or whatever your issues is. And like our team has a very diverse, it's a very diverse group. And we know um, we have gone through many different experiences. So we'll be able to help you through that. And then if you could just wrap us up here and tell us why it's so important to have the youth voice doing what you're doing. Yeah, of course. So I think, especially when I was younger, I think when you think of support or reaching out to anyone, you kind of have this idea in your head about somebody who is older, maybe not going to be able to understand you well. But when you have somebody who is younger and in your same age range, it makes you feel more comfortable about sharing your experiences because most of the time they're probably experiencing or have experienced the same exact thing very close to you. So I think it's very important when you have somebody who is young to also help deal with youth as well because they have that shared connection to being in the same generation. And then if I could just ask one final question, um, what, what is your feeling about when you talk to somebody, how do you, are they warm, are they, are they how, how, how would you explain that? Yeah, no, sometimes, some, some are more warm than others, but oftentimes I think <laughs> positive experiences in this line of work, I think that people come in seeking help and honestly, they end up helping me. I think that I find so I find so much joy in the peer relationships that I've created with people. And I think that they have also, I can see like a steady going up of their issues before and how they've changed now. So I think it's a pretty positive experience overall. And I think it's pretty warm. Hi, Alex, could you tell us about the Sources of Strength program? So Sources of Strength is a leadership program that gives people outlets to cope with like really negative emotions. We focus more on positive things and what strengths we have in these situations instead of focusing more on the negatives. And when you say we, who, who is that? A big group of, um, we have, a lot of teachers that come together with these kids. We have a big group of kids that just like, they're nice and they're leaders and like everyone can go to them. We awesome. pick them. Great, thank you. And so now if you could share with us what you specifically do as a Sources of Strength um, leader, youth leader. So my role in this is mainly, I go to like, um, some of the meetings like we have some zoom meetings we have some like we go in person and i just meet with a lot of other kids from other schools and we want to build help build up an environment where people feel like they're included in their schools so i just do activities with these like other kids and we talk about like how to include people and how to like bring a happy environment to our school wonderful and and let us uh, tell us what school you're at i'm at prairie de Chine. Awesome. awesome, great, thanks. And Alex, why is it important that youth do the type of work that you're doing? It's really easy to hear um, adults talk about how it's important to include everybody and be nice. 
but a lot of times there is that social aspect of kids that it can be kind of difficult to. So, but when you see your peers or your friends doing that type of stuff and including people and being really positive, it's so much easier to get more and more kids to help do that. Great. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us about Sources of Strength. Could you tell us about your youth uh, leadership program there? Yeah, so we have two separate youth leadership programs that I'm a part of that are both located um, in Washburn County, actually. And one of them is um, Healthy Minds, which is um, dedicated toward mental health and destigmatization in the Spooner High School specifically, but it is also um, like a child of the mental health task force that is located in Washburn County. Um, and then we also have the Community Alliance for Prevention, which um, is also located in Washington County, but the child of that is Change in the Youth, which is called City. And um, that's more towards youth drug prevention. Um, and it's, I'm, my role in Healthy Minds is I am considered the president um, of it. So I plan everything. And our goal right now is to get on our feet at the beginning of the school year, still the beginning, um, recruiting new members, um, but our main goal is just to teach the rest of the student body about mental health and how important it is and how everyone has mental health. And it doesn't have to be a negative thing. Um, and it doesn't have to have negative connotations surrounding it. And then with changing the youth, it's more about like prevention of vaping, um, marijuana use, because those are all things that are big in our community within the youth, lesser of heroin and meth, but we still focus on everything that we can possibly. And right now we just try to get to as many events that are um, produced by other organizations around us. Um, and then hopefully soon we're planning um, making our own events as youth and running our own events so people can really see us as people, not just kids. Great, well, thank you. And, and you really did a great job of explaining what the, or, what the group is and your role in it. So thank you. And could you just talk to us about why it's important for the youth to do what you're doing? Yeah, so personally, I think it's pretty important because one, if no one is gonna listen to us about youth statistics, unless we are youth, in my opinion. Like, yeah, adults may know about all these youth statistics, but youth are in it. They are going through this. So I think it's just really important. Also like for the student body with healthy minds, like they hear it from teachers all the time, but maybe if they heard it from a peer, like they'd understand um, about what is going on. So I really, under, I really think that being a youth and participating in things like this can be beneficial for yourself, beneficial for your community, um, beneficial for learning. Um, and I've learned so much. I've gotten to participate in so much. I've gotten to go all these places and explore and learn. Um, most recently, I went to Florida and went to this um, conference held by CADCA. And it was amazing because I just learned so much about how to help my community. And I think that being a youth member um, is so beneficial for college, for going out into the world and being able to teach everyone else because drug and alcohol abuse is a really pro big problem in high school. And so is mental health. And especially now that I feel like we're growing, like it's 2022 and it's just like, we need to learn about mental health. We can't just keep pushing it away because that didn't work way back when they were doing that for so long. And we need to decrease suicide rates. We need to do all these things, but the only way we can do that is by working toward it rather than just sitting back and watching. Wonderful, great. Well, Sadie, thank you so much for sharing about your personal involvement in the program and the program. Thank you. Yep.